welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to another NRG. And that was a quick title screen just flipped up there. Crack out on the Amstrad CPC brought to us in 1987 by those good old chaps in the north on the Midlands, Gremlin Graphics. This is an Arkanoid clone with a difference. A little difference. A right angled difference, if you will. You'll see what I mean. Just, uh, li we're going to listen to this little rather annoying little tune, but it's a quite a cute little tune. Music by, by uh, Mr. English, I think, did it say? Flipped across. And here we go. Oh, talk about flipping across. We're on our side. Big fat sprites as well. Massive great balls. Ball, should I say. Whoops, Freudian slip there. Um, so yeah, Arkanoid on the side, if you will. And that was terrible, wasn't it? Completely missed that. God, what an awful, awful start. It's very similar in the way Arkanoid is structured, if you imagine you're just tilting your head on the side. Aliens spawning, being very annoying, just like they always are on these types of games. Uh, Power-ups, though, do not fall down. They can't fall down because at the side they will materialise, as that one just did, E for extension. Which I've already got, I've got one already. Oh, and I'm bloody. Oh, waffling away, completely misjudging the flight of the ball there. That happens a lot in this game. If you're not concentrating a lot, you, the, 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 the lives can just flit away so quickly. And you don't get any extra lives until 5th, uh, 6th level at least, so you've got to sort of be on your metal straight away. The. It's slightly different to Arkanoid. I mean, it's got a pace, a turn of pace, which is slightly different to Arkanoid. It starts off like relatively slowly, but because of the way the ball bounces and reacts off edges and and off the bat itself, oh, oh, dear me, there we go. It can be a little bit deceptive. So that ball moves quicker than you think it's moving. But there we go, level complete. Straight through the middle there, a little bit of a, a programming glitch in the in the code there. I used to always do that. I just, for some reason, I, I do like the way it just, just destroys the blocks. It's not like don't just disappear. They have this little sort of like crumbling effect to add to the add to the uh, the game. Add to the game. Yeah, I suppose it's. <laughs> I was going to say something else there. It didn't work. Um, little faces. And these are just standard aliens. They'll just get destroyed if the ball hits them or you your bat hits them and just destroy. Oh, other aliens do different things. There's a G there. That's for grab. Which is like the catch thing that you get on Arkanoid. All up, up, up and down, and up and down, da 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 da, da 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 da, and that changes the flight of the ball completely, and off it goes. As you can see, that turn of pace there. Oh, bloody hell, look at the size of them. Bah, I've got a real small one. <clears throat> Someone's going to sound bite that. That's coming at the side there, it was nice. See, look, see, that is a quick turn of pace. It's, it's not a steady. Sp uh, flow of speed on the ball. It can just quicken up out of nowhere, and I suppose that's what makes it challenging and tough. I don't think it's unfair. You don't want to hit them bees. Then bees will freeze you back. You they can be destroyed by the by the ball. And uh, see, that's what I say. Different behaviour by some of these aliens. The flying saucers sort of like randomly go around and deflect the ball, then always explode on impact. And in the middle there, you've got, we've got an indestructible block. Oh god, that was. And there was a little bit of a problem there, as you saw. Which is a bit of a problem sometimes on this game. There's a little bit of a collision detection issue. It doesn't always crop up, but sometimes that ball will do exactly what it just did there and just fly straight through the edge of my bat, which is really annoying. But there we go, that's that level done. Now onto, uh, there's a standard wall of bricks, quarter level here. You can get some really nice combinations going off the walls. I do like the presentation, it's so, it's massively colorful. It's what you expect from the Amstrad, really, really nice and colorful. Moves good enough, and there's some nice animation on some of the uh, aliens as well. You can see that little growing effect there on that diamond-shaped alien. That's another deflection, I think. Or is that alien the one that creates another ball? I think it is. I think that might be the one where you destroy it. It actually creates another ball if you hit it with the ball. Yes, there we go, see? So the, another sort of different behaviour. Don't want them bees. Them bees are so annoying. Oh, double ball there, because I obviously hit one of those sort of like diamond shaped aliens. And it's 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 destruction central. Oh, look at the speed that really turned the speed up on that. You can't yeah, see slowing the ball down really just ha is was all about how it bounces and how it reacts. Oh lovely little love heart. How sweet. It's yellow as well, my favourite colour. Be there for bomb. Bang, there you go, lovely little effect there. 
really nice. Good sound effects in this. A little bit, a uh, little bit tinny now and then, but they're decent enough effects. As is a little music and little jingles playing into each level as well. So it's got everything. It's got lots of sound, lots of music, little jingles. on oh, for fuck's sake! You see, that was right on the edge of my bat. That should have bounced off, and it didn't. Annoyed with that. Oh. Is that a, so you got the the one that's gleaming there? I think is in the they're indestructible blocks. But of course the bombs they will destroy the, even the indestructible blocks. Ho ho ho! Yes they are. Come on, just got to get these two. As you can see previously, I got an X two before. That's a multiplier point multiplier. And there's another bomb. I want to hit that, and then it's level over. Move on to the next challenge. You by default start with um, three lives. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Nearly lost it. Oh, I did lost it. Oh, that was awful. S. Now that is... Well, you can see what that's done. That's put the... Uh, water, that's closed me in. It's closed me in behind. The, the, so I can just... There you go. So let, let that bounce off the wall behind. I'm not sure what S stands for. Um, shield, probably. Oh, yeah. I'd guess it's good for shield. Not sure, quite sure what these blue glowing aliens do. They seem to sort of just float around the place and not do much. Turn of speed there. Need the grab. Got the grab. Oh, that was naughty. That was a naughty, naughty hit. Bosh, bosh. There we go. So it's quite an enjoyable game. This crack out. Lovely cool. I like the cool name as well. Good title screen. Very um. Unique title screen, quite recognisable and familiar. Like I said it came out on a fair few platforms. This, um, I believe, it came out on the MSX. Uh, trying to remember now. Hang on, let's just get this last last one. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh no, oh no, that was nasty. A nasty alien deflection there. Really naughty. I don't like that. You're going to be dying for that. Frying tonight. I only need one block as well. Come on, go down there. So the the variance on the on the behaviour of the aliens does he makes it much more fun in a lot of ways. Um, for some reason, even though it's annoying, it's not as annoying as the way the aliens behave in Arkanoid. There's an extra life. X. Yes. And his little sort of stick man. It looks a bit like Willy Minor in in in, in the front profile. Yeah, it also came out on the, um, the Commodore and the Spectrum as well. And, the, and like I said, the previous of the MSX and the uh, BBC Micro too. So that'd be interesting to see the BBC Micro version of this. So one for the classic era, 87. Bit of a jump. Oh, bloody hell. That was poor, bug. Poor. Poor. Come on, bug. Right, so level 7 so far. Quite a few levels on this game. I can't remember off the top of my head how many, how many there is in total. Uh, I guess I would say 30. I can't remember. Uh, forgive me for that. Oh, me double. This is interesting. You see, like on Arkanoid 2, Revenge of Doe, you get the double paddle. And uh, it puts two side by side. Well, it doesn't do that this time. It, it puts one above the other, just because it wants to be fucking different. And it is hilarious when, they get, when the ball gets tra trapped between the two. That can happen. And it's quite, you've got to get them out. Quite tricky to get it out. Alright. Let's see if we can sort this out. Come down here. There you go. Up you go. Got an X2 there. It's a multiplier. No! Oh, 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 it's caught, caught. Get out! Oh! See? See? I said it and it happened. It got caught. That's exactly what I was talking about there. Trash my lives on that one. I've only got one life left. Come on, this is tricky. Yeah. Turn of speed, destroyed all the aliens there. God, it absolutely ploughed through them. Unbelievable, good stuff. Got that one. Um, once you've hit a block and it has turned into a power up, sometimes just like that here, you just saw it, uh, they'll just, they'll have, they have a, a expiry date almost. They will disintegrate on their own after a while. And um, this is really annoying because you've got two of them indestructible blocks in the way. And the ball is going really bloody quick as well. Oh no, 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 no. Come on. Oh, come on. There you go. It destroyed itself. <laughs> uh, 
So it certainly is different to the regular Arkanoid clones. It's certainly got its uh, unique traits. And some of it works, some of it doesn't. Um, oh, that didn't work at all. That did not work at all. That was terrible from the bug. Uh, I don't know what the hell these aliens do. I think these are the ones that... Oh, I don't know. I'm waffling away and I've died. I think they're the ones that actually swallow your ball and spit the ball back at you. But anyway, <laughs> an enjoyable game if you like your Arkanoid breakout block style busters on the side with a difference. So, let's put my name in here. No, a little, little, little Tony Scale there on the uh, end of your high school thing. But that was Crack Out on the Amstrad CPC 1987. Cheers, thanks for watching. Nova Bug is cracked out.